Are you dreaming about owning your own home but worried about skyrocketing mortgage rates and hidden fees that seem to be lurking around every corner? Well, you are in the right place because that is exactly what we're talking about today. So stay tuned. I got you covered. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Living in Greensboro with Lynette Selby. In today's video, I'm about to share with you the top six secrets to not only making home ownership a reality, but also help you save a little cash while you're at it. So let's get started. Number one is your credit score. So your credit score is like your financial resume. It tells lenders how reliable you are with managing debt and repaying loans. So when it comes to buying a home, this score can be a game changer. A higher credit score is like a golden ticket to lower mortgage interest rates. Lenders view borrowers with high credit scores as less risky because they have a proven track record of being responsible with their finances. As a result, they are more willing to offer these borrowers lower interest rates on their mortgages. In addition to lower interest rates, a strong credit score can mean fewer fees. So lenders charge a variety of fees during the um, application process and closing process. These fees can add up, sometimes costing thousands of dollars. However, borrowers with excellent credit scores are more likely to qualify for loans with reduced fees or even fee waivers. So now let's talk about the long-term saving potential when you're securing a mortgage with a, um, with a lower interest rate. You're not just saving money on your monthly payments, you're saving money throughout the entire life of the loan. And this could add up to tens of thousands of dollars in savings over a 30 year mortgage. So, so picture this, two borrowers, one with an excellent credit score and the other with a, with a lower credit score. Both take out a loan of $250,000. The borrower with the higher credit score might secure an uh, interest rate that's a full percentage point lower than the other one over a 30 year, um, 30 year mortgage. And that does seem like a small difference, but that can translate into a significant savings. But beyond saving money, a higher credit score can also improve your loan eligibility. Lenders use credit scores as one of the primary factors to determine whether you can be approved for a loan or not. Borrowers with higher credit scores are not only more likely to get approved, but they may also qualify for larger loan amounts, and this can open up opportunities to purchase more desirable homes or homes in competitive markets. So improving your credit score isn't just about securing a mortgage, but about securing a better financial future. It's a crucial step on your um, journey to home ownership that can save you money in the short term and set you up for success over the long term. So moving on to number two, we're going to talk about one of the most crucial steps in the home buying journey, and that's shopping around for a mortgage. So this process isn't just about finding the best deal, it's about finding your financial comfort zone. Imagine going to a store and buying the first item you see without checking its price or comparing it to similar products. That's what many first time home buyers do when they accept the first mortgage offer that comes their way. The truth is not all lenders are created equal and mortgage terms can vary significantly. This is why obtaining multiple mortgage quotes is not just a recommendation, but it's essential. It allows you to gain a comprehensive view of the mortgage landscape, giving you power to negotiate better terms and save money. So here are a few actionable tips when comparing mortgage quotes. Start with the obvious, and that's interest rates. So these rates can fluctuate from lender to lender and even a small difference can lead to a substantial savings over the life of your loan. So look for the lowest interest rate that suits your financial situation. Two, understand the loan terms, such as whether it's a fixed rate, an adjustable rate mortgage, understand the length of the loan, and that will usually be about 15 to 30 years, and any repayment penalties. Really look at those fees that are associated with each offer. 
These can include origination fees, appraisal fees, and closing costs. Some lenders may be more lenient with fees or offer to cover certain closing costs. Also consider the type of loan being offered. Is it conventional, FHA, VA, USDA? Each comes with its own set of requirements and potential advantages but be aware of the down payment requirements. Some lenders may allow lower down payments, while others may require a more substantial upfront down payment. And don't forget about customer service. Assess how responsive and helpful each lender is during your interactions, because that is so important. Tip number three is to consider FHA loans. So for those of you who may not have, you know, those huge down payments saved, FHA loans can be a game changer. So let's explore the benefits and potential drawbacks that come with FHA loans. FHA loans often are a lifeline for first time buyers and those with limited savings. FHA requires 3.5% down, making home ownership more accessible, especially for my first time buyers. This lower upfront cost means you don't need to have a huge, you know, savings cushion to get started on your journey to home ownership. Now let's talk about mortgage insurance. So FHA does require mortgage insurance premiums, MIP. It's essential to understand that this insurance protects the lender, not you. However, it's often a trade-off for the low down payment requirements. Additionally, FHA loans may be more lenient with credit score requirements, typically allowing borrowers with a credit score of 580 or higher to qualify with the minimum down payment. So this is, like I said, it's really a game changer for those that dream of owning a home, but have limited upfront funds. So tip number four is snag a VA or USD loan. Imagine buying a home with absolutely no down payment. That my friend is not a dream, it is such a reality. VA loans are eligible to active duty military personnel, veterans and their spouses. And on the other hand, USDA loans cater to those buying homes in rural areas. VA and USD loans do not require a down payment. This is a massive financial relief for home buyers as it removes one of the most significant barriers to entry into the housing market. These loans often come with competitive interest rates, making home ownership even more affordable in the long run. Lower interest rates mean lower monthly payments and potential savings over the life of that loan. And tip number five is choosing a 15 year mortgage. Choosing a 15 year mortgage isn't just about paying the home off sooner. 15 year mortgages typically offer lower interest rates compared to their 30 year counterparts. This means that you'll pay less in interest over the life of the loan, resulting in significant savings. While the lower interest rates are enticing, it's important to, to understand the trade-off. Monthly payments on a 15-year mortgage are a lot higher than those on a 30-year mortgage, so that's something that you wanna keep in mind. And lastly, it's tip number six. So, and that is to buy mortgage points. Mortgage points can be a valuable tool in your home ownership toolkit. Mortgage points are essentially a form of prepaid interest and each point typically costs about 1% of your loan total amount and can lower your interest rate by a specific percentage. For example, paying one point might reduce your interest rate by 0.25%. And the more points you buy, the lower your interest rate becomes. And this can result in lower monthly mortgage payments. And those are my top six tips. I hope that you found this information helpful. Remember with the right strategies and dedicated realtor by your side, it hit me. <laughs> your dream of owning a home can become a reality while keeping your finances in check, even in a competitive market like this one. So if you've enjoyed the video and you found it informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family who are navigating the world of real estate. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth real estate guidance. I wanna thank each and every one of you for tuning in and watching the video today. And I will see you guys next week. You take care. Bye-bye.